Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to handle multi-value parameters using the string split function in SQL Server. So this is a paginated report. This is Report Builder. And on the report, I have a simple table. This is a really easy matrix that I created. And you can see my data sets and I have a parameter. Right now, the parameter is set to allow multiple values, okay? And so if I run the report, let's go ahead and run the report. If I run this report and choose a value, a single value, like 2010, and I click view, report renders, piece of cake. But if I go back and choose another value, if I get a little fancy here and I choose 2011 and I click view report, I get a little error and the details of the error, it's really, it's a really good error it's saying, hey, I can't convert string to an integer. Can't do that. It's like but we're passing integers. Well, the way it works with reporting services is when you select that option to pass multiple values, what it does is it passes a comma delimited list and you need to parse that list out before you can use it in your SQL query. And there's lots of ways that ha have been done over the years. People have written their own table value functions using you know, Coalesque and XML functions, XML things in T-SQL. But in 2016, they introduced something really cool. So look at my original store procedure. I'll show you this over here on this screen. On my original store procedure, my where clause, I'm just saying calendar year equals the parameter that I pass in. So T sequels is expecting a single value, but that won't work here, okay? An integer. For this one, it won't work. And so what you can do is you can use the new string split function. You can see the string split function accepts two inputs, a year and a, whatever you wanna split that list by. And so if I run this, you see it returns a nice table because it's a table value function. Now, because it's a table value function, check it out, I can use it in my query. So I get rid of the where clause and I add an inner join, we call in the string split function and I give an alias to that function. Then I just join back to calendar year and that the function returns a single column um, name value. And I'm using that in the join. And now, right, in my equal join, in my inner join here, if I run the query, it just filters it out. So if I run this store procedure, you'll see that it returns 2010 and 2011. If I go back to my paginated report, instead of using that single value store procedure that I wrote, I wrote a new one that I call multiple years. Choose that one, click OK, run my report. And now, if I choose a single value, it works. If I choose multiple values, it works, right? Just like that. And now you can see it's bringing back three years. Just works, it's so easy. You don't have to write your own function. You don't have to update and maintain that function across different environments. Just use upgrade at least the 2016 or Azure SQL database, use the string split function and you're ready to go. I'm sure you guys have come up with lots of different ways to solve this problems. Maybe you have some questions and comments, you know what to do, post it in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting Guy in the Cube channel, you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, Two big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.